It's heartbreaking, man. We are so set last night. Oh, oh my god. god. What a nightmare, man. About two weeks ago, Jim and I were faced with a pretty impossible choice. To either continue heading north to see our families, or turn around and start heading south again with the opportunity of getting something we had dreamt about all year long. Now, if you follow us on Instagram, you'll obviously know that we ended up going home to see our families and spending some time at home with them before shooting up to Aviemore and escaping into the countryside. But what you won't know is the impossible decision that we faced during that time as we kept it a little bit under wraps. It is time to come clean however, and of course I could sit here and tell you the entire story, but it would probably be better to simply show you instead. Hi, we are Gemma and Campbell and in 2018 we cut the roots to our static lives and began backpacking all around the world, working wherever and whenever we needed to. After spending 16 months living and working on the safe refuge of Guernsey during the storm of 2020, we decided it was time we quit our jobs and began the long journey home to our families in Scotland. As we drove north, we stopped off for a long overdue catch up with friends in the Lake District consisting of barbecues, hiking and plenty of wild swimming. However, despite being surrounded by the incredible beauty of the Lake District, we both had a heavy weight upon our shoulders from a decision we would face in the coming days. One that would shape the path of Highlands to Hammocks for the better or for the worse. This is what happened. So good morning guys, we basically left off just where we signed it off in last week's video and our creps have finally arrived. We're at the quiet site campsite, just outside Penrith and have just introduced this kind of crepe pizza stall outside the place which I think is a perfect addition to any oh, campsite. Absolutely, we woke up this morning and we're like, okay, we could have porridge or we could go and try the crepes. A big old, a big old bowl of gruel or <laughs> delicious French crepes, what would you guys decide to us? And we've got a big day planned today, we're hiking in the Lake District, we're going to be giving you guys a tour of the campsite and it's our last night here in the Lake District before we head north to Glasgow so we're trying our desperately to make the most of it. Winning. Very good. Amazing. Very good. Perfect Ooh. breakfast. Yeah. Now it's my turn. That is amazing. That chocolate syrup is just so good. Mm. So to start off with the tour, we may as well do it in the kitchen. We need to make up our lunch. We've got a couple of bagels and some cheese and some grass cuttings from just up the road. Uh, that we're gonna have for lunch for the third day in a row because we're very, very budget. But the kitchen itself is actually a really good facility. You've got fridges, the microwave toaster, we've got washing up facilities, a tea and coffee maker, and even some water that is actually free, which is very, very good. And you get to watch Gemma butcher a bagel, trying to cut it in half. You get a really good tactic of pushing the knife in rather than actually just cutting it. Oh, there you go, you're getting it. Oh, no. okay, All right, here we go. Welcome back, guys, to your tuning in to this week's episode on how to cut a bagel in half. Right, first things first, do over the sink so you don't make a mess. Ta da! Not done. And now our friends Jen and Mel are just going to give us a quick tour around the site because they basically know the place inside out, they've been working here for a couple of years. And they're just going to show us all the kind of eco-friendly sides that the site actually has to show off. And so at the quiet the site they actually try and recycle as much water as they can, so they reuse all the waste water which goes through these filtration beds that are kind of natural reed systems. And Mel was just saying it takes about three days for it to get from the top level where it filters out the, uh, the unmentionable solids down to the bottom where it's about 90% clean and then they reuse that to flush toilets and other kind of stuff that's not directly in contact with humans. A reed bed system to filter the water, so we've got three levels. So when were these installed? Five years. It's five years. I just really love coming to all these different campsites and getting an idea of kind of what they have to offer, like the unique different kinds of cabins and experiences that they have. Yeah, there's a range of different accommodations to stay in here, whether you bring your tent, your caravan, your motorhome, or you stay in one of the ho hobbit holes or cabins. Or the huts or anything like that. It's like, there's a huge range. No matter what you're into, this place just really kind of has it all. And that is definitely what we need to do before we go back up to Scotland. What's that Gruffalo The Gruffalo orienting course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All the gear but no idea. <laughs> I think there's actually a few different trails you can do here. We don't have a lot of time, so we've chosen to do the red one, which is only about an hour and a half long. But the routes just kind of take you through the forest and the surrounding areas, and I think it's supposed to be quite peaceful and tranquil. So we tend to find 
saying that being out in nature is the best place when you have a big decision to make and we have a very big decision to make Huge. right now. Something that's going to part us with a lot of money but something that I'm sure will be very worth it in the long run. So since we've left Guernsey we've been on the hunt for a camper van. Now we've been looking through um, eBay, Facebook, Auto Trader, places like that, and also trying to look at dealerships as well. Yeah, we just were really, really stuck. So we've got a huge decision to make because after we're meeting Kelly and Adam again, we went and toured around their motorhome, and we're pretty much sold on trying to get a motorhome. Yeah, but we you know. actually, Gemma actually went straight back to the the restaurant with our laptop and googled their exact motorhome. And we found one perfect one, but it's all the way in London. <laughs> We've got to question ourselves whether we want to keep heading north and go back to Glasgow or head south and go all the way back to London. But yeah, I think it's just something we're gonna need to sleep on tonight and hope that we've got the answer tomorrow morning. And oh my God, what of your favorite animals? Llamas! We've got a llama alpaca farm right beside the road. They're just like the funniest creatures. So bizarre, man. I think between them and Highland cows are my two favourite animals in the world. And Gemma just pointed out, dogs, they're, they're, they're top tier. I mean, they're like on level with Gemma. Who goes dogs, Gemma, <laughs> then llamas and Highland cows. That's, a, that's, the, that's the pyramid of how much I like things. Yeah. The highlight of the entire time in the Lake District. We love the alpacas. Sorry if there's about three minutes of video footage in there, but um, <laughs> you can't say no, can you? No, no. That is definitely, if you're coming to the Lake District, that is the number one site. I think it said it was an hour and a half walk. We've been walking for about 25 minutes, and there's the car park, but I think it's because we're expecting you to stand there for an hour. And so guys, we're rounding off our time in the Lake District by just chilling out on a campsite with friends, uh, Kelly and Adam. We have decided to have the barbecue again for about the 16th night in the past two weeks. And I think it's just the perfect way to like round off our time here. We've not seen these guys in so long. They're shooting off tomorrow. We've got big plans for the future as well. And we've got a lot to think about. So a nice chill night and a barbecue is a perfect way to do it. Well, we've got some nice fancy roast for dinner. Hold us up, Gemma. Nice, Squished. <laughs> nice pancakes. That's what happens when you store them in a car. <laughs> As the sun broke the clouds the next morning, we awoke with dreary eyes and a very anxious hearts to pack up the tent, bid farewell to our friends and hit the road with no real idea of where to go. We spent the morning in a local cafe, calling possible sellers about our new home and facing setback after setback. Eventually, we had no choice but to give up for the day and face a rather disappointing reality. We would not be getting a van anytime soon. So basically, we just sat for three hours in the spoons, um, just researching and phoning different places just to have a heart broken over and over and over again. And it's kind of getting to a stage where I feel like we're just, we don't know where to go because mm. there could be some leads south, there could be some leads to the north, there's leads down in London, but it's just like, where do we go? You know, like, we're, we're, it's the length of the country to drive and we're not even guaranteed a result at the end of it. Mm. And I am just so tired. I feel like what I really need right now is just like a good comfortable bed. I feel like that might just be the best option for us at the moment. It's just go home, see our families, regroup and just tackle it next week. Yeah. It's heartbreaking, man. We're so set last night. I know. So set. We're buzzing. It's the way it is, I guess. Home, see your family, see your doggy. It's exciting. There she is, two hours until we get home. Start. Hiya, it's just um, to let you know that we phoned like a bunch of the camper van places this morning and all the ones we were looking at, they're all sold. So we had a good think about it and we've decided that the best course of action is just actually head north and get some good rest. So we'll see you guys in roughly about three hours.
after spending some time at home, we decided it was time for us to take a break from social media and the hustle and the pressures of looking for a van and head up to our northern retreat in Aviemore for some good quality downtime. Now, as you can probably guess, it didn't work out as planned, as during the drive up north, Gemma was notified that the van of her dreams was now available just outside of the city of Inverness, which is an hour away from our destination. Now, of course, we had to go and view this van, and as soon as we saw it, we absolutely fell in love with it. We put down an offer, and we spent the next week waiting with anxious days, sleepless nights, and not a lot of relaxation going on to hear that our offer was finally accepted. After hearing the news that our offer had been accepted, we were told that in just a few days, we would be able to pick up the van after a few repairs had been done. And so the waiting game began. Good morning, little guys. Okay, so it's now day five on waiting to get our van, and we're getting a little bit impatient now. All of this waiting around, we're just not used to it. I just want to get on the road. Good morning. Now we either get the van tomorrow or we get it on Tuesday. But the guy told us that it could be tomorrow, but I think he only told us it could be tomorrow was because we said we needed it by tomorrow. It's just so frustrating because it feels like we've got this Christmas present that is there, but we're not allowed to actually play with it yet. We're just sitting around doing nothing. What do you want for breakfast? Oh, so you're treating us to breakfast then, babe? So we have actually been neglecting a lot of stuff recently. Um, we have got dishes to do, we've got the grey water to empty, we've got the toilet waste to empty, and I've got the water to top up. But we've got nothing else to do but wait, as we said, so we're probably just gonna get stuck into work for the rest of the day. It's quite a good distraction. So we've got to get the toilet out of here. Got a full grey water to empty, and got the water barrel. And you're forgetting something. Jacket. Dishes. Oh. Bye bye, go get them. <laughs> and so this has basically been our setup for the past week now. We've just been sitting around waiting. But our offer was accepted. We've got a deposit down on the van now. And now we're basically just waiting and getting some checks and that done to it. So they're basically redoing a seal. But until that happens, all we can do is sit around here, try and catch us up on some work that we were missing out on while we were travelling up north. And just really dream. <laughs> and, um, it's really hard because we've been like planning everything that we want to like cushions and blankets and things that we want to get to do the van up but i feel like until we've signed those papers we're literally just dreaming constantly tempting fate and it's not happening it might yet. not happen no. and so we're checking in uh, literally just arrived into inverness we're staying at the waverley guest house and it's pretty comfortable I've got it to is. say, basic but very nice. It is. We booked it just last night, so really last minute, and we managed to get a room for two nights for about £130, which is not bad. Breakfast included, yeah. which is also Given the current good. circumstances, prices yeah. do seem a little bit more expensive. Yeah, so um, we've done pretty well. We're very lucky. It's nice to actually just be in a different location. So we'll give you a quick mm -hmm. tour because my favourite part about this apartment is the carpets. Check this out. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant, that's some way to decorate it. In fact, actually, looking at it, it's the same colour as my mask. Mm. There we go. Meant to be. Imagine that. I know. And give us a room tour. The bed. Very nice. This is the bathroom. Anything. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Basic. Nice. Cheap and cheerful. So we've been sitting in working away all afternoon, but it's a beautiful night here in Inverness, and we decided to get out and enjoy some of the sunset over the city, up at Castle Hill, there's beautiful views. And it is just such a beautiful sunset. I think we've, because we've been stuck inside a lot recently, yeah. in the ca caravan, we have no real way to get out and actually enjoy it. Temptation was there to head out for the night oh, and definitely. just enjoy how beautiful the city is. So we're gonna enjoy the sunset and we'll see you guys in the morning. See ya. So good morning, guys. We had a bit of a rough sleep last night. Just listen to this racket that we've got going on outside our room. 
Oh, what is that all about? I'm exhausted. <laughs> Thank goodness for nice hands on head. Last night, we basically got back to the room and just passed out. Yep. Didn't really do much. Just chilled out, caught up some work, watched some TV. Love Island's just started, so this one made me watch it. Hands tied, didn't even have a choice in the matter. But today's the big day. Fingers crossed. It's going to be out. It's going to happen today. I'm putting it out into the universe. We need to check out our hotel in the next hour. We're going to go down to Spoons, get some more breakfast, and then we just need to phone the motorhome place. I have looked into alternative accommodation options in case it's not. They are seagull free. Fingers crossed. Like I don't want to be negative. I know. But it's going to happen. Putting it out into the universe. Manifest destiny. Let's do it. Hi there, Dermot. How are you doing? Cool. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully come lunchtime we should be able to head up Oh, there. that's exciting. And here she is. Just had a nice shower. All ready for a test drive. We're super excited. It's such a nice day. Basically, we just had to jump into the Royal Bank of Scotland and Inverness to send half of the funds to my account so that it's under the kind of daily limit. If we can get it done before half past three, the trans funds should transfer tonight. Yeah, so it's now half past one. We jumped in a taxi to get here super quick. <laughs> Just gonna take out a test drive, make sure everything's okay, and then that's it. What it is, is I'm currently just trying to pay for a motorhome. It's telling me it's going over my max. My max is 20,000. Oh, okay, so that there's no way then that I can transfer that money today. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Gemma is absolutely dying of hay fever and we are having such a stress oh, with honestly. bank limits and money transfers and it's just, oh, it's such a nightmare. Do not leave it till the day that you're going to purchase something like this to try and transfer more than your daily limit. Life hack, what I'm going to do is just stuff all my money into a pillow cushion and st stick it under my bed. Just don't tell anyone that I've told you that because that's where my life savings are now. What a nightmare, man. Oh, and unfortunately, just like that, we've given up. Um, it's Inverness again for us tonight. <laughs> we're going to go and stay in the travel lodge. I think it's just first thing tomorrow morning we're going to need to come back here and finally get our van. It was always going to be too good to be true. Oh, and here we are. And this is our budget accommodation for the night. Travel lodge, good old British chain hotel. I've got a Burger King for dinner. So I'm starving, I swear to God. Honestly, the way our day's going, I was expecting like just to walk in here and find a seagull just like in the room. Oh. And, but I think all that we need to do now is just chill out for the rest of the night, recoup a little bit, and just first thing tomorrow morning, we're getting that van. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. I don't know I tell what you, can stop us Nothing now. can stop us now. I'm gonna punch a seagull out first thing in the morning. I don't care. We're getting that van. Today is the day. Gemma's just getting stuck into transferring the money. Rather than leaving it too late this time, fingers crossed, toes crossed guys, it's got to work this time. Right, you ready? Money is gone. We need to go and scavenge the streets. Oh. Get some breakfast out the bins, so then bus. Go and get the van. It's happening. Today's the day. <laughs> it's got to be. How many times have we said that now? And just like that. We got our baby. Yeah, it's all sorted. Homeowners. <laughs> <laughs> first time, first time buyers. Yeah, road tax is set up, insurance is set up. We are good to go. I the first. Think it's on Christmas. I know. It's like it still hasn't really sunk in. I feel like I'm so renting it. I don't think until we actually start making any alterations, we've already got a list as long as our arm of changes that we need to make to the van to make it habitable for the coming adventures that we're going to be having over the next year and only to our only, exactly but that's for next time this has been a long time coming and i'm sure it's been a long video so we're going to sign off there next time we're going to be driving at home doing all the alterations that we need to do uh, before we hit the road for our big epic plans this summer and we'll let you know what they are in the next video so make sure you tune in next week also make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel to see plenty more van life things coming we're really excited to share it all with you so we'll see you in the next video yeah see you later. I honestly wish I was joking, but I feel like every hotel we go to is just like haunted with noise. There's a can in the alleyway outside of our hotel and it's rolling around. It's bizarre. Listen to this. You hear that? If it's not seagulls all night. That's that's literally a can rolling around the alleyway. Oh 
Oh, no, Noisiest thing in the world. Noisiest thing in the world. We need to go and squish a can oh, just so I can sleep tonight. I usually think I'm a patient person. A patient person. A patient, caring, empathetic person. I'm this close to murdering someone because a can's rolling around the alleyway outside my hotel. I can actually see it. It's there. It's going absolutely mental. But there's two gates between <laughs> us and the can. What is happening? Seriously not okay. Like what is happening? This is can gate. This is actually can gate, man. Right, so come down this side passage here. I can see it. It's right there. I need to get a really long stick or something. There you go. Glad I asked the question. Oh, come on. Actually taking the piss out of Yes! We did it. We did it. Well done. We did it. Right, pick it up. <laughs>